So um, I'm going to get into a little bit more of the math describing quantum teleportation. And uh, in order to do that, um, I want to keep this very accessible, even if you might not have had um, like a class in quantum. So um, I'm going to go over some things to try to keep this accessible, um, even to people who might not necessarily have that background. So let's start with qubits um, and let's review kind of what qubits are. Uh, qubits are the basic unit of in quantum information and they can be in any superposition of zero or one, um, which means that they are neither zero and they're neither one, but they're kind of both at the same time. Um, the quantum state of the qubit is can describe the probability that you will measure zero or measure one upon measuring the qubit. So the qubit will exist in a superposition until it's measured. And then once it's measured, uh, if it's measured in the basis of zero and one, it will become either zero or it will become one. There are different types of qubits. Uh, there are photonic qubits and there are storage qubits, for instance. Um, of the photonic qubits, uh, there are further different types. Uh, for instance, there are single rail qubits, which can describe uh, the, either the presence or absence of a photon. Uh, there are polarization qubits, which, in, which are described um, by basically the polarization of the photon. And there are also time bin qubits, where the uh, state of the qubit is described by the uh, de time delay during which the photon is, is emitted. Uh, and all of these uh, types of qubits and more uh, can actually be simulated with the Allure Quantum Simulator.